Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Sizzbitty, a true note of welcome to the Final Fantasy VII Remake, which is the most confusing game launch I have ever been involved with. So, this game I have managed to get my hands on just a little bit early. At the time when you see this, this game will still be three days away from launch. However, due to the coronavirus, Square Enix made the decision to stagger the launch slightly to take the pressure off distribution. So specifically, if you're in Europe or Australia and ordered a physical version, then as far as you're concerned, what you're seeing right now is probably flipping old hat. You may well have had this game for a week at this point, and the moment that happened and games started arriving, Basically, Europe and Australia just went flipping rogue. Some Australian retailers just straight up said, well, I suppose the game's out now so we can just start selling it. And Square Enix went at them with a righteous hammer of fury. And plenty of streamers across Europe and Australia said, well, we've got it. I guess we may as well stream it, which they were not really supposed to do because the game wasn't out yet. But also they were kind of not, not supposed to do because, you know, it was a legitimate copy they'd purchased and Square Enix sent out to them and they'd never signed an NDA or anything. But regardless, streams disappeared, channels were deleted, it's all been a little bit messy. But John, I hear you cry. Are you safe right now with Square Enix's mighty hammer of banning coming at your face even as we speak? No, because this copy is legit. This copy was sent to me by Square Enix with the specific purpose of me making videos, alright? I'm obeying embargo, everything's fine. But, because this is legitimate and not an early version, I have signed an NDA. And that means I am legally obliged to begin this stream by pointing out that yes, I have been provided with this copy of Final Fantasy VII Remake for free, and thus you may wish to consider this a hashtag ad. Now, normally we don't actually label things as hashtag ads just because we received a free copy, because if so, basically two videos every week would be hashtag ads. So just to be clear, I've not received any money, there's no editorial oversight, literally all that's happened is Square Enix has provided a free copy a little bit early. If you consider that a hashtag ad, then it's a hashtag ad. Anyway, that's out of the way, let's flip and dive in, shall we? So, if you saw my previous video on the Final Fantasy VII Remake, then you've already seen this very first chapter. So don't worry, we'll get through it nice and fast. The Cliff Notes version is, Hello, I'm Cloud. I'm a mercenary. I'm helping that guy over there, he's an eco-terrorist, blow up a power plant. And we do that by beating up a very large number of security guards. So just go for this guy, get close enough to other people, and we can do a big attack that hits both of them at the same time. Absolutely lovely. But as time goes by, you're also charging up your ATB meter, so you can use abilities or spells or whatnot. So time isn't actually frozen right now, it's just going very, very slowly indeed. So yeah, how about a lovely Braver that should do an absolute flip ton of damage to you right over there. And who'd have thunk it, you're now dead at this point. You can just do dodges, you can do blocking, you can just kind of dodge out the way of attacks. Or, of course, you can just stab people. Focus thrust, that sounds absolutely fun. Increases your stagger meter, that's the orange meter down there. That fills up, the enemy like falls over, they become a lot more vulnerable. Though, I suspect this guy's about to, you know, die very, very quickly indeed. Yes, who'd have thunk it, he's already dead. Absolutely flippin' lovely. Now, one thing I am now allowed to show you that I couldn't show you when I was just doing the little demo I brought you previously is, yeah, the different ways to play. So the game's got a bit more, you know, real time, decide your position, dodge out of the way, block, diddly diddly dee. But there's also classic mode. All it means is, yeah, Cloud's going to do all of the moving forward and attacking and blocking and dodging as appropriate by himself. So people don't just politely stand in line and take turns whenever they will. No, no, no. People are still going to be running around. It just means you don't need to worry about positioning or dodging or whatnot. Though, because the AI is making those decisions and it might not make as good a decision as you, the enemies therefore have reduced health. What your input is instead is managing your ATB meter, what commands to use, etc, etc. So we're just going to, yeah, let him do all of that business. So Cloud decides he wants to go for the dog. Now the dog we'd probably knock over as fast as possible. So I'm going to use a nice focus thrust on the dog right over there. There we go. The dog is now staggered. Now you can still control the camera because the camera sometimes gets a bit stuck in corners. So Cloud's just getting on with that nonsense right now. In fact, he's probably going to handle this by himself. No need to bother using any of my other abilities. You're being knocked over right now. Can just, yeah, pick a target for a braver. May as well go for 
You're already being knocked over. Let's see if we can just finish you in one hit with a Braver. As it turns out, yes. Yes, we can. ATB meters ready to go. One more Braver for you. Absolutely lovely. So that's available as an option if you don't want to be worrying about moving or positioning or whatnot. Personally, I prefer the new system where you can actually, you know, choose what position you're standing in diddly diddly d. And yeah, if you want to, you can actually play by normal rules, whereby you're allowed to, you know, pick your targets, move where you want, dodge when you want, etc. But give the enemies the same amount of health that they would have on Classic, which is, you know, basically just like story mode, if you will. But let's just go for normal. Oh, here we go. Roll the music. It's over! That's my line. So, enemies standing nice and close together, so a big swing attack should do the job very nicely. You're pressured, you'll be taking some more damage. You guys are down on the ground, you're just getting up, so may as well use a bit of... You know what, how about some magic? Because I do have a fire spell. How about we just set you on fire? Screw you, basically. Take you out as well. Then we got ourselves one more. Activate Punisher Mode, so that is basically just yeah. A little bit on the stronger side, but very, very slow indeed. And seriously, we mean so slow. But it's very powerful. Like that man, he just went to space. We're back. Then let's move. He always knows just what to say. Cut it out. Jesse is so damn thirsty in this game. It's just wonderful. So, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close? Jesse, I will buy you a drink when this is done. One day an evil organization will invent a laser grid that doesn't just regularly turn on and off allowing anybody to get through it. And on that day, heroes everywhere will be screwed. So, Barrett to the team, and having taken this sub-boss on during the demo, I now know what to do. Robot means lightning magic, alright? This time I've been paying attention. I've played video games before. Specifically this one. So, you, get behind him, go into Punisher mode, and start basically just wailing on him. You get on with that, we'll go over to Barrett. Because Barrett's gonna have himself, he's not really just yet, but just, you know, do a little bit of damage. Just hit him with the overcharge, get yourself nice and charged up. Lovely. Now it's time for you to put a bit of thunder onto this lad. Absolutely flipping lovely. While you're getting on with that, you can actually get on with, yeah, trying to stagger him a bit. Because you have got yourself your beautiful, beautiful focus thrust ability. So he's pressured but he's going to be taking a bit more damage. So you just get over there. Go into Punisher mode. Go into lovely strong attacks. And that's doing some good stuff right over there. While you're getting on with that, back over to you. You're ready to do another thunder. That should be pretty effective against this guy. Lovely. Just do your basic attacks over here. That's laying some good pressure. Recharge your big charge ability. That's now ready to go. That should lay down down some good stress on this guy. He is now pressured. And yeah, Cloud's ready to do some stuff too. Probably ready to knock you down actually. So Focus Thrust should get you down on the ground. He is now staggered. Cut, flipping, boom. Are you ready for something else right now? Actually, you know what? Punisher mode. We want to be in Punisher mode right now. So get some serious damage in right over there. And now you're in Punisher mode. Activate a Braver. This is going to do some crazy big ass damage while he's doing that. Just in case that's not enough. Toss a quick thunder at him before he recovers. And flipping boom. We electrocuted him to death. And that, that's how you do so, down towards the reactor we go. Let's set the bomb and see if I can take out that scorpion a little bit more efficiently. Now I know roughly what I'm doing. Don't forget to smash boxes and whatnot on the way past mines. Ah, oh, here he comes. Big, tall and scorpiony. Right, let's just start splitting out a bit here. Getting out the way. Getting a little bit of damage in here. For the time being, he's got no protection or whatever on him at all. So, let's just start getting a little bit of light damage damage over here. Barrett can't do anything just yet, so let's just start attacking to build up his ATB meter. Uses overcharge, may as well do a little bit of damage right over there. Looks like you're paying attention to you for the time being. Can I actually do anything? Like say yes, go into a nice block just to buy myself some time. Barrett, you've now got an ATV charged. Use Thunder because that's a robot. And right now, all I can target is the robot. He doesn't have specific, like, you know, parts or anything. So you get on with that. And meanwhile, Cloud, he's got himself, yeah, pressure meter. Let's start trying to uh, knock him down, please. Just getting over there, and that's some good stuff. Go into Punisher mode while you're just charging up. Absolutely flipping beautiful. Cloud, get in. Keep pressuring him. He's almost down the ground. So that's my priority for the time being. 
going to, yeah, Punisher. Just keep doing a bit more over there. Just keep pushing him, all right? Scorpion, and he is now staggered down on the ground. So that means the priority right now is throw everything we flip in got at him. So get myself an ATB as soon as possible, and he runs over to the wall. He's probably ready to begin the next stage right now. Is he getting out his big ass tail or something, or is it time for the shield? I think it's shield up next. And yeah, shield up next. Right. So, right now, we can't do anything to him whatsoever. So just stay out of the way. Everyone's health's okay for now. But we've got ourselves something we can do. There's now a weak spot. So, Focus on that with a Braver. Just basically, yeah, hit its field generator, knock it the flip down. Until we've got that down, nothing we can do. So go for that. Good Focus stuff that right there. Go into Punisher mode, just lay down as much fire as we can. You've just taken a big hit, but that's all absolutely A-OK. -okay because we've got ourselves some beautiful, beautiful items. Can't use them just yet. So let's see if we can draw some attention with Barrett just for now. Not doing anything for the time being. So instead, probably shouldn't have targeted him with my uh, ability there. That was kind of pointless. Yeah, uh, can we hit him in the field generator with the focus shot? That would be good right over there. Meanwhile, uh, Cloud, I need you to just get your, you know, normal stuff together. There we go. Now you're ready to go. Please do a little bit of healing of yourself just to keep you nice and up to date. Right, you get round the back over here. Out. That's another big ass hit, actually. But I need to attack it to get my ATB meter up. Because until I've got that, I can't do any healing. There we go. Now we can get some healing in. Absolutely lovely. Just keep healing. Go over to Barrett for the time being. Should be able to get a good spell off. Hit the Scorpion Sentinel with, aha, it would appear for the time being it's not protected. Is that true? Hopefully that's not true. And Limit Break's also almost ready to go. That'll do some good ass damage when that's ready. So just lay down some fire, hit it with the Overcharge while it is vulnerable. If we can, hit it with the Focus Shot too, just basically hit it with literally everything. While we're doing that, uh, Cloud, you're actually ready to Limit Break it, so... I see no reason why we wouldn't do that. Hit it with a big-ass cross slash right now. So, flipping, kaboom. That's a lot of damage and a lot of pressure. Go straight into Punisher mode. It's down on the ground. This is a good time to lay down a bit of focus on it. Just keep getting it pressured, please. Yep, that should be it staggered. Good. And once it's staggered, it'll move into its next phase. Which I believe is the tail ready to go. Nope, it's missiles. It's just going to blow up literally everything. Everything's under control. Also, kind of forgot to check this. Can I actually use... Yes, I could use Barrett's ATB to heal up Cloud. That's rather useful. I might not have got into uh, cover quite fast enough there. Okay, uh, Barrett, if you'd like to be in cover right now, now would be an excellent time to be in cover. So it's going to charge the tail laser. As long as we're behind cover, that's fine. It's not as strong as it looks, as it turns out. Right, you, get around the back, go into Punisher mode, and just start wailing on it. You're not being hit that hard at the minute. Barrett, what have you got available to you right now? Keep laying down the thunder. Honestly, that's absolutely fine. That was a good weakness right over there. Barrett is charging up nice and fast. Go back over to you. We're laying down a bit of pressure. Now we just go over to focus thrust. Right up the jacksy. Love it. Uh, I think it's a little bit weak, but not too weak to fire. It's no reason to bother doing that just yet. Just keep on, yeah, focusing on the pressure. Honestly, that's not doing much right now. Go over to Punisher mode. May as well get some damage in over there. Probably at this point, we're not doing much unless we're hitting it with the magic. So just hit it with that. That's like, yeah, that's a lot of damage right over there. It's almost down at this point. But yeah, just keep laying down the magic. We should be in good shape. And, okay. Looking very weak right now, ready for whatever its final stage is, which I've already seen, but now I've forgotten. Ah, uh, yes, it's leg thing. It's trying to heal itself up. So all we need to do is take out all of that nonsense. Ah, slight issue, out of magic points, and thunder's really useful. So, uh, how about we use some ether to sort that out, because Barrett really needs to, uh, to keep going. There we go, that'll be for the better. You get over here and just focus on taking out the legs. One big braver will hopefully do the job right there. Focus on the one you're next to, see how that does, and that did not do much at all, actually. Right, Thunder is now ready to go. Cloud is looking wounded for the time being. That's what we needed. It was purely about that. Get in the overcharge. Hit on the leg, please. Charge up, because yeah, Barrett's ATB meter charges up so fast. 
Get a heal on Cloud, just for safety. And now, you're still good to actually follow up and hit it with another Thunder. And leg please. And boom. Overcharge almost ready. Hit it. The flip in the face, please. And it's got to be almost ready at this point. I believe the legs are actually down. So just hit it with a braver. And boom. Job flipping done. Okay, much more smooth. Now I know what the flip I'm doing. Right, Scorpion dead. Time to GTFO. But uh, how's my health? Okay, I should probably pop a potion just for safety. Because at this point, Barrett just says, screw you, you're on your own. And naffs off into space by himself. So, uh, yeah, at this point, just me. Like, seriously, Barrett runs straight past things that he could have attacked and taken care of, but no, he just leaves them for Cloud to take care of. Which I guess is fair, because, you know, Cloud is a mercenary and whatnot, but still, it seems a little bit on the rude side. We're running out of time! Shut up and climb. You're not helping. Sorry, it just... it keeps me focused. I'll freak out if I don't talk. I love Jesse so much. Jesse is the best. Okay, power plant explodes, and that's pretty much as much as I was able to show you when I played the demo. So, if you want to see that last bit in a bit more detail, I did play the demo, that shows a bit more off of that. But, from now on, yes, this is all going to be new stuff. So now we're going to be showing things off in a little bit more detail. Attention all citizens, this is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. Unidentified intruders have detonated a bomb inside Mako Reactor 1. Multiple explosions have been confirmed, as well as ongoing fires. In response, a disaster warning has been issued in sectors 1 and 8. Structures in the area are at high risk of collapse, rendering the entire sector hazardous. Therefore, all residents of the No. No way. This couldn't have been us, could it? But what if it was? What's done is done. Merck's right. It ain't pretty, but we can't stop now. This was just the first reactor, and the planet won't be safe till we get the rest. So, what's our next move, boss? That's easy enough. We get our asses home! So yeah, it would appear that uh, the bomb has been a bit more bomby than we thought it was going to be. Unless, of course, something mysterious is going on. Like, say, this wasn't us conspiracy mystery. Right, so, we'll just crack open a chest and crack on, crack on. Yoo-hoo. I don't need to tell you what this is, right? Of course not. It's healing material. You can have it. For saving my life. Just doing my job. Nothing more. Yeah, yeah. Fact is, I'm lucky you were there. I love how fast Jessie got over the existential horror of having to confront the collateral damage that her own terrorist campaign and the bomb that she created has unleashed on innocent people and has got straight back to flirting. Anyway, never look a gift horse in the mouth. That healing materia means from now on, I've got myself a healing spell. Love it. Cloud, up here! Look up! Please stop yelling my name out loud. We are terrorists on the run. But first, I'm having a bit of a wibble. Sudden, we're following something, someone I know. You're not real. You're dead. I am. Um, I killed you with my own. <gasps> oh, you need not remind me. It was the crowning moment of our time together. But that was then, and this is now. I have a favor to ask. Our beloved planet is dying. 
Slowly, silently, painfully. Can you bear to see the planet suffer? Cloud. Were the planet to die, so many things will be lost. Your hometown, the moon is so bright. The sound of her voice, pleading for me to spare you. The shiver of her flesh, yielding to cold steel. That which binds us together would be no more, and I would be loath to live in such a world. Which is why I must ask you this one favor. Don't worry. It's a simple thing. Run, Cloud. Run away. You have to leave. You have to live. You bastard! Good, Cloud. Very good. Hold on to that hatred. Okay, just having a bit of a wibble there, but I feel much better now. So let's get back to murdering nameless, faceless security guards. Oh yes, remember that NDA I mentioned earlier? Yes, it also obliges me to, every 20 minutes, remind you, you might consider this a hashtag ad. Ad. Alright, we got plenty of police over there, though honestly I feel like I could just murder them. But the game's not gonna let me go that way, unfortunately. It would not make life harder for me, Cloud, in the slightest. They're just basic lads. Run into the middle of them, big group attack, you would slaughter them. But uh, can't help but notice a slightly familiar face over there. Too weak to save anyone. <laughs> Not even yourself. Are you okay? Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. Here, this is for you. Huh? A flower? That's right. It's a gift. You know, for scaring those things away. What things? Never mind. Think of it as a memento. How much? Well, that depends on the customer. In your case... <laughs> it's on the house. I have questions about the sustainability of your business model. Look, I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. Oh, I'm sure you are. So? So keep your distance. Wait, you think someone's out to get you? Is that what you're all worked up about? Relax. No one's going to attack you. I promise. Hey, a Mako reactor just blew. You shouldn't be out here trying to self- <laughs> Help me! Two flower seller, I'm sure we'll run into each other later. In the meantime, uh, so, so much murder. Okay, if you guys would all like to just stand close by to each other, that would be really convenient, actually. Yes, this will do 
beautifully, as it turns out. So, just take you guys out, and if you're dead at the minute, no, you guys are all fine. You've melted too. Just do some blocking if need be. Charge forward, and if you guys would all like to stand close together, job flipping done. When I say job flipping done, may as well just get a braver on you, and kaboom. That was possibly overkill, mines. Time to clear out the plaza and, uh, yeah, ignore you guys. Take out the officers first because they're very easy to take down. So let's... The fountain just exploded for some reason. All right, ignore the dog and just avoid you. Getting over here. Take out all of the security officers. I should have bothered healing before this fight began. Okay, I'm so weak. In fact, let's go for uh, a high potion. There we go. That's much better. So now I've got most of my health back, and you need to be knocked the flip down. So, one focus thrust for you, please. And that's some good stuff right there. Level up two. You're nearly down on the ground. Staggered. Go into predator mode to push the advantage while he can't get out of the way. We are doing a lot of flipping damage. No need to use a brave. I'll save that up in case there's reinforcements coming in. Yep, thought so. More's coming in yet. So that actually works for me. So use a bit of cover. Get over here. If we can, hit all of these individuals. Aha. There's the uh, grenade lad over here. You need to go down first if you can because you'd be... Yep, thought so. Right, focus on you lads. And if I want to, of course, I could use the ability just to check who's on the field. So uh, does this thing have infinite range, by the way? I'm going to try and use this just see if it's got... Okay, you kind of moved towards me, but I did clearly lunge in your direction. And, oh, hang on. Just do a little bit of guarding if need be. And who have we got here? Just basics. That's a grenade! No, you flipping don't. No, you flipping don't, please. Right, finish you off and get over here. You two are standing nice and close together. Nice and dead. We got more coming in. Are we good? All right, just, just prepare to. Nope, they're naffing off for the time being. Love it. Okay, what have we got here? Aha, we've got a new lad. So stay away from you for the time being. I need to build up a little bit of, uh, yeah, ATB. Because you have got a shield, which makes you very resistant to uh, physical attacks. But that's all absolutely fine, because I've got myself a magic attack. So uh, riot troopers, toss a bit of fire in their direction, and they are 100% mega bones. Okay, so now we got dogs and those guys. So I need to just build up a bit on the dogs here. But yeah, the moment I have any ability to cast, we take you out. Because you can be taken out with a single hit. So I want to do that first. Then just get out of the way of the dogs and stagger you if you be so kind. Predator works very nicely. You dead, by the way. You're dead at this point. And as for you, you're getting close to being knocked down. Let's just do the focus and then follow up if we can. We actually stay in uh, Predator. Yeah, Predator seems to do a lot of damage to uh, dogs in terms of their stagger. So that, that went pretty smooth. All right, keep on keeping on here. Cut down all of this because you do just recover uh, magic points, which means they can just keep using fire. Oh, we got plenty coming in now. All right, so, so you stupid bastards, you want to make a thing of this, do ya? And more coming from the other side, too. Okay, I just need to get around the right trooper for now. I just need to build up a little bit of ATB. If we can finish off the grenade lad, that'd be marvellous. That's a lot of good stuff right there. So now we're charged, and I see you right there. Fire for you, Mr. Riot Trooper. And if we happen to hit you as well, leveled up. I think that's level 9, if I recall correctly. And you are about to go down too. All right, there were some more people at the far side. But now, now we're ready to go and I see someone worse in the back there. That's fine. Just toss uh, one fire at you. Now we need to finish off all your little friends if we can. And yeah, just focus on you for the time being. Watch out for his big ass shield. I just want all of you dead so you're not providing any supporting fire. So now, do I have enough actual magic points to uh, finish you off? Hopefully, anyway, because, yeah, I don't have much ability to do much to you. So, a uh, bit of fire, and just keep dropping that on him. He's looking, aha, he's looking pressured, actually. I might be able to get a good thrust in and do it. Boom! That'll do the job right over... There we go. Now he's back up on his feet. Okay, so before we attack him again, charge up a full two bars. A fire followed up by a braver could do a lot of damage. 
Uh, bear in mind, even though it doesn't do much, just dropping any attacks on him whatsoever will charge up the ATB meter a bit faster. So that will speed things uh, up a little bit. Okay, now we're ready to go. Now we're ready to lay the combo on him. So uh, lay down a bit of fire. And if he does go down straight away, okay, now go straight in, follow up with the focus thrust. That's why we wanted the double, and he staggered. Go into Predator, and now we just wail on him. If we can get up to one and we can get a Braver in, and we can, so one Braver should finish him off. Enjoying this battle system. Love it. And, okay, more coming in yet, but honestly, you, you could, just, um, could just hit him with a sword. Like, it's been working pretty well so far. Except on this occasion, I've decided, nah, I'm just going to hop onto a train and naff off. So, bye lads! And here we go. Chapter 3, we have made it home safely. Come on out, ghosts! Can't help but notice that certain children are talking about ghosts and ghost hunts. And people who have been hearing or seeing things. Okay, that's potentially of uh, interest. And yeah, we've actually got a proper little local area to explore before we uh, make it back to the bar. Where there's like street food and everything. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, this is... this is nice. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco-warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steel work. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> what the? You okay, buddy? <laughs> Mako Junkie, huh? Figures. You again. Okay. The ghosts are back. This is... This is of interest. Okay, I'm gonna go investigate some ghosts here. Um, excuse me. Uh, due to an emergency, entry into this area is prohibited. Sorry for the inconvenience. Has literally no one circulated any form of announce that, you know, very, very large black guy with gun instead of arm and, you know, blonde guy with spiky hair with sword as big as he is should possibly be, you know, watched out for. Oh, and here we go. The Sector 7 slums. So wherever those ghosts went, presumably, it's somewhere around here. Ah, there's our girl on the front steps over there. Hello, Tifa. Okay, I'll get back to you in just a second. Oh, the camera really, really wants me to go and check out Tifa. Uh, if I go over here, can I move the... No, the camera's straight up locked onto her at this point. <laughs> Daddy, you're home! That's right, Angel, I Welcome am. back. <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I've been helping <laughs> Tifa. Oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. <laughs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Oh, Barrett and Marlene are sweet. Uh. <sighs> hey! What uh, the hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. <laughs> That's right, honey, I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering Daddy's lessons. <laughs> You know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. Oh, Barrett's a good dad. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, Daddy. Mm, all right, but just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. 
About that. We should talk outside. <sighs> um, Daddy? Did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was, it was wrong of me to put I you in danger that like that. News. I Don't promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. And here we are. Good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with 7th Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No, it's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. Okay. Interesting. I guess we'll explore properly tomorrow, then. If you want anything else, we can always there get it- There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course. As long as you help, that is. Wait. Then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No. Two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so... That'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best! I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. Alright, so I've actually got a job to do with Tifa to earn the rest of the money. Guess it's time for introductions. Aha, the mysterious person next door. Okay, Tifa didn't want to, uh, introduce me and... Is this a public toilet you've just put a bed in? Because I'm getting distinct public toilet you've just put a bed in vibes. But he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Okay, my hallucinations are gonna get somebody killed. Okay, following morning, let's not stab the neighbors if I can avoid it. Also, what's the point of going up top? Any chances? Aha! A convenient chest. Thought there might be. So there we go. Got myself some Phoenix down. Good bit of resurrection action going on there if need be. Okay, so over at one end of town, we got ourselves, aha, this here junkyard. So I'm guessing that's where we're going to collect filters, as Tifa said. Me and her are taking on whatever fiends are together. 
Okay, there's a weapon shop, but it doesn't appear to be open just yet. Handful of little chests rounded back areas for just a handful more bits and pieces. Nothing too dramatic yet, though, so may as well head over to Tifa, join up with her, and see what she wants me to do. Let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. <laughs> Although the next batch probably could, if Jessie put her mind to it. <laughs> Most every home in the area has one. Folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. We bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? <sighs> Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? <sighs> Please? <sighs> Let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. Okay, maybe we're not taking on fiends just yet. Maybe we're just tutorializing this particular area. 20 minutes, people. Every 20 minutes. Hashtag ad. Ah, here we go. Yes, indeed. All the shops are now open. I've got no antidotes, so I'll buy a handful of them in case someone poisons me. But other than that, materia. So potential upgrades. So I've already got myself a healing one of those. And I've already got a fire one. And then we've got Ice, Lightning, or Deadly Dodge. So, okay. Attacker Man will do area damage immediately after dodging. That's pretty good. I like that. You know what? I'm going to buy one of them. That sounds fun. Okay, I'm swimming in potions, so I'm going to get rid of the healing materia. We'll try out Deadly Dodge. That sounds fun. Aha. And as I would reasonably have expected, weapons. I ain't got nothing for a punk-ass bitch like you. Get on out of here. Okay, so apparently he didn't enjoy being shaken down for money for filters. So, okay, fair enough. Can't buy any weapons just yet. Still, I'm pretty happy with my ridiculously oversized sword, so that's fine for now. Ah, but what I can do is make my weapon better. So I can start upgrading at this point. So I've got 10 SP, so I can't afford all of this, but I would be able to afford some of it, potentially. So, okay, Punisher Mode, Strong Attack Damage, 5% higher. Attack power up, so okay, just generally going to be more powerful. Magic attack, more powerful. I feel like it's not really my thing. Or maximum health. You know what? Let's go for attack here. Let's go for, yeah, attack power up in general. Unlock that skill. Lovely. And the other one too. So punisher mode is going to start kicking some serious ass. Alright, so now it's time for some monster hunting. And I've got a Tifa with me, so... Okay, not sure what her abilities do just yet. We'll figure it out as we go. Here's Scrap Boulevard. I can see why monsters would feel right at home. Hmm. And the more we pile up, the more they show up. All right, so we're just doing a bit of pest control, basically. Got it. And straight away we got ourselves uh, something new down over there. Okay, Orb of Ice Materia. Okay, Tifa, by any chance, could you have some of that? Because I've not got any of that right now. Here we go. So she starts off with Chakra Materia. So uh, that is, restores 20% of hit points of damage taken. So, uh, alright, fair enough. Basically just a bit of healing going on there. Let's give you that lovely ice thing. Just so we got some ice. And beyond the cave, we've got, oh, I don't like you. Okay, just weird mouth creatures on legs and also kind of scorpions. Okay, we'll figure it out as we flip in go. So you are a gorgia. Sneak up behind you. You were pressured nice and easily right there. You just get on with that. How's the other one getting on, by the way? Let's go over to uh, Tifa here. So, what's Tifa good at? Good at close range combat. Uses combos to deal lots of damage. So, normal attack or hold for a single powerful blow. Okay, so she doesn't get like, you know... A great big swingy attack like I do, but she does get a single powerful hit. Unbridled strength can be used to enhance her unique ability, as well as to increase the number of attacks that can be chained together. So if I just straight up hold, then... Okay, you're not flipping kidding. That hurts. Okay, so Tifa's little special ability, the equivalent of, like, say, Predator Mode, is Whirling Uppercut. But... If I use her ability to make her stronger and stronger, she'll unlock more and more powerful abilities going forward. Though I doubt I'll be able to do that much in this fight because, yes, uh, the enemies are dying too fast. 
Okay, let's try and find someone to deal with here. So just tap, 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 because I want to build up my thing here. So tap, 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 and... Okay, never mind, you're already kind of dead. Okay, please stop killing the enemies so fast. I want to be doing my stuff here. So my ability is, yes, unbridled strength. Alternatively, dive kick, which is just really, really strong for murdering. Or chakra, so that's the ability to restore my health. So I want to do some unbridled strength. So do that right now, and going forward, now I've got Omni Strike. So okay, let's do that again. Unbridled strength. Now I've got Rise and Fall, and um, I feel like the camera shouldn't have just pulled away from her, but whatever. I'm sure it was impressive. Okay, now I've done some work. The weapon guy's willing to actually chat to me. So okay. Could buy some more power wrist guards in order to actually make, you know, Tifa a bit stronger. Alternatively, a magic power up. Spirit up, which I'm guessing is... Hang on, what's the difference between magic power and spirit? I'm guessing spirit is magic defense and revival earrings, so uh, auto life. So I'm guessing that's an auto revive, but breaks upon you. So, okay, one auto revive. That is not bad at all. Okay, leave that for the time being. Look at the uh, weapons and the armor too. So, uh, Iron Bangle or Star Bracelet. Okay, that one's a bit too expensive. That one's fine for now. So that is... Okay, that's all the defense. Got it. And more importantly, one free weapon just to say welcome to town. So, okay, my Buster Sword gives me the ability Focus Thrust. So, were that to be maxed out, I would be able to use that with... Any weapon, because it's tied to this weapon. But it already is, because that's my starting weapon. So, uh, even if I go over to this iron blade I've just been given, I can use Focus Thrust regardless. But I gain a new ability, Triple Slash. So, slash three enemies in quick succession, dealing more damage with each blow. That does seem pretty good. It will also give me what looks like an extra slot. So, uh, yeah, go on. So, now I've got myself a third slot to plug stuff into. So with that, I can actually have my healing spell back. So go on, why not? And one more freebie, Assess Materia. So forget healing, because I've got so many potions. Uh, let's plug that in, so I can start assessing my targets. Do plenty of that, and this guy might be willing to help me with some new stuff. So okay, now I've got 10 million tiny quests to take care of. Okay, here we go. This will do as a starting point. We've got ourselves a nuisance in a big old factory area. Some drakes need to be murdered. Bit of pest control. And that, that works for me. So just got to find ourselves some stuff as needs murdering. And don't forget to assess it while we're doing the murder. Because the assessy man wants me to assess things for assessment related reasons. And we've also got, yeah, another little spell or something round the back over there that I need to uh, loop round to. So, okay. Check the map here and, aha, I see what we're doing here. Should be manageable to get round there. So, just start looping round the outside over here. Use the map if need be. Smash everything. And, first things first, we got these things. But they haven't actually noticed me just yet. So, they're also climbing up the walls. Okay, that's that's of interest right over there. Uh, they can climb, apparently. Luckily, I can sort of climb myself. So, okay, before we actually do anything, let's just go over here and, uh, yeah, give this guy an assess. So now I've got Braver, Big Attack, Focus Thrust, same as before, Triple Slash or Assess. So, assess this thing, please. And now I understand it. Okay, well, that's bloody convenient because Tifa... You've actually got yourself... Oh, dear. Um, Tifa, you're, you're having your... You're being a bit, um... Tifa. Okay, maybe just go over to... Excuse me, just get off her, please. Thank you. Right, Tifa, as I was saying, you've got yourself a special Blizzard ability. So use that. And... Okay, that didn't do... Okay, yes, it did. It just took a moment to do. But uh, it did do its job in the end. So we're just going to punch you a little bit. And big punch. Oh, that's really strong. And here we go, cut through here. We have got ourselves uh, something. So what's this going to be? Orb of Fire. I've already got one of those, but vending machine and a rest bench. Not bad at all. Okay, back to this room over here. And now I can start wandering around on, yeah, the elevated area. So just keep on keeping on. This room is, oh, target located. Aha! 
Drakes. Okay, um, one of you just hold still for a second. I need to give you a scan. I'm very much being attacked right now. Okay, just in case that, uh, you know, interrupts anything. Let's go for one assess against you. So figure out what's going on with you. And week two, wind. Don't have any of that. So yeah, hitting them with wind attack makes them susceptible to staggering. Landing magic attacks on them will bring them to the ground. Okay, now that's useful to know. This assess business is good. Okay, you need to be got down on the ground. So, yeah, uh, you down if you'd be so kind. And that knocks you down and... Okay, the game just said that would knock him down. But alright, fine, what have you. Okay, instead, if we can't get many attacks in, let's make the attacks we do land better. Activate unbridled strength. And now, activate it again. There we go. And now, just do whatever. Okay, um, unfortunately that totally missed. Okay, this is everything's under control. Activate Omni Strike. That doesn't do anything when you're not next to him. Okay, fine. And that'll do something, mind. Okay, this one's stuck in a door. I like this one being stuck in a door. Luckily, yes, Cloud can sort of fly. Not desperately well, but it'll do the job for now as... Yes, we don't actually have any wind magic available. Okay, that's enough intel for the kid, but we need to... Okay, don't return to Chatty just yet. I don't want to have to run all this way again. But yes, uh, we definitely do need some uh, wind magic sooner or later. And there we go. There's the second group. Is it just the one or is it two? Because I'm only seeing one. Okay, that's probably easier then. So... Here we go. Let's see what we can do here. Just jump up and yes, we can sort of fly. Not like, you know, well or anything, but it's a thing. Let's see what we can do. All right, let's just sort of, uh, don't need to assess it. Hit it with a bit of magic. Just do what we can. That at least does something and seems to put a bit of stress on it too. And actually it's sort of in a corner, which works for me. Keep on laying the magic down here. Alright, just keep laying the magic down. And for the time being, it seems to be... Yes, because the ice holds it in play. This is going much, much better. Watch out for the whirlwind, mind. And now it's naffed off over there. There we go. We got a good whirlwind strike on you. And down you go. Materia, level up and he's glitching into a door. So, Drake's taken care of for you, my good man. Apparently another flying bastard stirring up trouble. Okay, so we get a free heal for that, and more trouble. And for doing that assessing for the kid, auto cure materia. So automatically cast cure up to three times a battle. It's not the worst thing in the world, to be honest. For only 100 gil, I'll take it. I'll be honest, I was hoping for some wind magic, but yes, it was mentioned. Some form of bigger creature close by to the pillar, which I'm guessing is this. Okay, so back into the factory where we were, but the woman said there was a key in a box. Just smash the boxes, you'll find a key. So that's a potion, that ain't a key. There we go, found it. It was over here round by the vending machine. Not sure if that's randomised, but we've got it now. And there he is, one Cerulean Drake, which I'm guessing is, you know, bad. So... All right, we got a boss of some description here. Time to start, yeah, just getting a bit of damage in. I need to assess him. I'm guessing he's the same as his, you know, compatriots, but we may as well just double check here. So abilities, can we... <laughs> Two from the background, marvellous. Give him an assess, figure out what we know. Yeah, weak to wind, same as before. But we know he doesn't have any resistances, immunities, or anything he can absorb. So... Okay, fair enough. The icy winds surrounding them are harmful. Okay, interesting. So, uh, icy winds. So, can be stilled with elements other than ice. Alright then, that we can do. Just get a little bit of damage in on him whenever we get close enough. Yes, he's vaguely icy. So, I'm guessing ice is not the right option here. Where are you, my friend? Just wait to be nice and close. Yes, let's toss a bit of fire in your direction. And boom. That's got to do some stuff right there. Okay, can I braver him? Is that a thing we can do? Because he feels right now like he's pretty low. So let's see if we can just get a little bit of... Uh, yeah, braver. Braver is fine. And... 
Completely missed. Well done. Go over here. And, oh, gee, flipping shoots me there. I thought we were ready with the whirling uppercut, but whatever. Okay, so Tifa, can you use a dive kick to maybe get him on the ground? And do it. And come on, come on, Tifa. Okay, it hit him, but it didn't really do much in that regard. So just toss a bit more fire in that direction and screw you. Oh, that, that definitely upset him, mind. And whirling punch. Good job. Okay, not so bad. And that gets me one star bracelet, which helps me make the most of materia. I don't know what that means, but it seems to do less in terms of, well, anything, to be honest. Okay, what is that? Ah, okay. Two extra slots. Got it. Okay, a few bits of sub-questing done, but apparently we've got something of interest over here. That looks like a nasty Shinra sort to me. Stay away from me! Hold it! Settle down now. Get off me, assholes! I didn't do shit! Shut up, punk! Or what, huh? Screw you! What's Come going on? on? Why you Somebody do me like went that? and stole some blast data from a you. Shinra warehouse. So public security started asking questions, and you know how Johnny gets. It's because of the reactor bombing, I bet. I could be wrong, but something tells me they're not gonna settle for just roughing him up this time. We've gotta save him, Cloud. Is he Avalanche? No. He doesn't really know what we do. But he has his suspicions. And he's a talker. Ah, okay. So, nice vending machine, nice chance to have a rest, and all of a sudden, once again, poor old Cloud is not getting paid. I'm never going to get paid. This is going to be like how Misty is never going to get a new bike from Ash Ketchum. All right, Cloud is never going to get paid for that job. I can just flip and see it. So, next up, we need to go and beat up some more stupid soldier thugs. But I would say that is enough for now, ladies and gentlemen. This here is the Final Fantasy VII Remake, and uh, yeah, there's a lot I like here. There's there's a lot of good stuff. It's very intuitive, voice acting and script and whatnot, all very, very solid indeed. I could definitely stand to do a little bit more of this, so uh, keep your eyes out. Might well show up as a live stream vote or whatnot at some point. So uh, yeah, may well see a little bit more of this. We shall see. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Final Fantasy VII The Remake. Thank you very much, and goodbye. No, sadly, I cannot be the Santa Claus of murder tonight. So apparently, even though this thing is... Oh, no, no, you can't. No, you most certainly can't. Okay. Is that the symbol meaning I'm about to pull her over? Yep, there we are. There we... Oh! I feel like she didn't necessarily survive that. No, she's very dead.